the defibrillator PCSO Becky is raising money for could help save lives. She's planning a fundraiser later this year to get the money she needs. A defibrillator can help those who are suffering from heart attacks and other conditions and Becky hopes to install one here in the middle of the Heath community. Um, so this is the second year that we're doing a community day at my Sakoid Community Centre. Um, the reason behind doing it was just a way for us to get to know um, the community and bring the community together, which is a lot of what our role as police community support officers is about. Um, each year um, we've been raising money for um, local um, events and things like that in the area. Um, last year we raised money for a youth project, um, but this year we're being supported by the British Heart Foundation. Um, we're going to raise money for a defibrillator to be used by the community in the area. So why is this something that you think is worthwhile? Um, I mean, in the area, we haven't really got many defibrillators around the place. Um, you know, it's a vital part of any community we feel to have one. Um, you know, it could save somebody's life, essentially. Um, you don't need any training to use one. It's really good. They can be used by absolutely anyone. So we're focusing on it being a community defibrillator that could be used by anybody to help anyone. How are you planning on raising the money? What are you going to be doing? Um, so the community day itself is going to be held on the 20th of August. Um, we've got various stores come in. Um, we've got different activities, games. British Heart Foundation are coming down as well to help us promote it. Um, we're going to be having like bouncy castles, face painting. It's going to be a very like fun, family orientated day. Um, and we had quite you know good support for it last year. And we just want to build on that this year. And um, it's obviously an effort coming from you as a PCSO. Why is it important that you're maybe the ones behind the effort? I think it's, again, a part of our role as police community support officers to get involved and know the community and also to sort of help break down the barriers, really, between the public and the police. Um, so it's a really ideal opportunity for us to get to know our residents and just, you know, engage with the community and support our local communities. And how much do you need to raise? Um, so the defib itself is going to be about £1,500. And we're hoping to actually get half of the funds matched from the British Heart Foundation. So we're looking to raise about £600, £700. Is this something that you realised that they needed or did they approach you? How did it come about? Um, yeah, it's something that we sort of picked up on as local officers, that there was a lack of defibrillators in the area. Um, so we went ahead, then I contacted the British Heart Foundation to see how they would be able to help us. And we've just sort of collaborated in that way. And how was that received from like a community effort to be the ones that spotted this? Yeah, they were, you know, really supportive with it. And I think, you know, they're obviously pleased that, you know, any sort of efforts that are going on in the area to get more um, more in the area is, is a good thing. So okay. that's kind of all we need in terms of facts and figures. And is there okay. anything else you wanted to add? Um I just wanted to put up the Facebook page for Yeah, it. sure. Um so just you know if anybody We can wants put a strap on as well yeah, of it as well if you yeah. want. That's fine. Okay. It's still recording, isn't yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So if anyone wants to get involved, how would they go about doing that? Um, so we've got a Facebook page. So if you just go on to www.facebook.com forward slash My Sakoid Community Day, it's got all the information on there um, for stall holders as well, if anybody's interested. Um, and yeah, just all the information for the day and regular updates will be put on there. Becky's fundraising event will take place in August later this year. This is Laura Allen from The Heath reporting for Cardiff News.